What is up, everybody? This is Matt with the Hardcover Comic, and today I have a really cool haul that I wanted to show you guys. It's actually going to be a total of nine volumes. You can't see them all here, obviously, but it is going to be nine volumes of Batman and Detective Comics and a lot of the tie-ins, and it ran, uh, well, this collects 87 through 92, uh, and into 92, beginning of 93, uh, so right before Nightfall kicks off. Um, I still need to buy Nightfall Volume 1, but then I already have a bound in other collections. Uh, Night's End all the way through uh, till right before Cataclysm. So I'm super jazzed to add these to my collection. It was a really great haul from another collector that had done these years ago. He was looking to part ways with a lot of his collection. Um, and I he gave me an awesome, amazing deal. Uh, so I'm very, very appreciative of that. Um, if you guys saw on Instagram, Mike had a huge haul that came to my house full of just chock full of incredible hulks from like 1983 through 1999 binds. That was from the same gentleman that I got these from. Uh, same as my Green Lantern bind haul that I'll be showing you guys in another video, you know, probably in the next week or so. Uh, so anyways... Here it is. Um, these are the, the four of the f nine. Uh, I just kind of want to show you guys all the spines and everything look alike. I am going to be posting uh, my digital table of contents that I created uh, next to each one of these books as I go through them. So that way you guys can kind of see what the mapping was done on these. Because that was one of the biggest questions people have is what is the mapping? So that way it'll display all the mapping and how it's all kind of broken out. Um, and then also Jeff was awesome enough to provide me with this really massive Excel sheet. So if anybody else has any questions about mapping, uh, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out with that regard. Um, I kind of mapped out almost, almost up to the start of new 52. And I think currently I'm at like a total of 42 volumes and I currently have, yeah, I think I'm close to 42 volumes right now. Um, or what I have mapped out and right now I currently own like 18 so I'm a little less than half uh, but we're gonna kind of go backwards through this we're gonna start at the the 92 93 and just kind of work our way back just because that's how I have I have the book set up right now so but uh, yeah so really awesome art and stuff throughout and I, the thing that I love about these is that most of them are newspaper print and I just love that old newspaper print feel uh, some of the books, like uh, Batman Colt, for instance, has almost like a cardboard hard feel to it, and it's a little bit different. But primarily, like these ones right here are kind of more glossy, but then you go right back here, and boom, you're right back into that newspaper print. I absolutely love it. Um, all the ads and things were taken out, all the double-sided ads, I should say. Obviously, you're seeing ads like this, but these are just because it wasn't part of a double-sided ad. Uh, but that's okay. I actually really like that a lot because this was all stuff from back when I was a kid. So it's like a time capsule for me. It's really kind of going back and, and visiting, you know, this massive uh, time capsule. So there's the, the fold-out page from back in the day. But, and like I said, you guys probably already see it on the screen, but I'll have my uh, digital table of contents that I created that just kind of shows the mapping and things throughout all these books. And these lay really nicely. They sit really well. I really enjoy them immensely. Um, I would say the majority of these books were actually bound by uh, Herring and Robinson. Woo! A lot of these books were actually bound by Herring and Robinson. Uh, there was one, maybe two volumes that were bound by uh, another small bindery in Pennsylvania, which I can't remember their name off the top of my head. But once I get there, once I get to the ones they did, I'll, sh I'll show you guys. Uh, but aside from that, there's no real fancy artwork or anything. They are bound in Buckram. Um, I am going to have Mike ultimately make some DJs for all 40 something volumes. I currently have the 18 right now. Uh, so we, we're going to try to come up with a cool idea. Uh, for, you know, as you guys probably know, I love connecting spines, so we'll, we'll come up with a neat idea for that. But, yeah, this is like a huge time capsule, and I absolutely love it. I did start reading them as soon as I got them. Um, I'm not very far, just because I don't have a whole bunch of time to read right now, unfortunately. But, uh, from what I am reading, it's a lot of fun. I mean, these are... See, when I was a kid... We didn't have 
I mean, we had comic shops, but I was not a kid that was fortunate enough to be able to go to a comic shop every week and pick out books and, you know, things like that. So for me, a lot of my comic books that I acquired as a kid all came from walking through, uh, you know, the grocery store with my parents at the supermarket and then at the checkout line, they had the rack of comics and I would get to pick something. So then at that point, I would just look for characters that I liked, like Wolverine, Batman, uh, you know, things like that, or interesting covers that appealed to me. And that's kind of how I got my comics. So therefore, I never once got to fully read a complete run when I was a kid or anything like that because it just, you know, the, the market, the supermarkets aren't going to get every single book. Um, they're only going to get, you know, here and there. And it depends if you missed it that month, maybe they only had one copy. So yeah, I never actually got to fully read a full arc of these. So a lot of this stuff is unread for, for me. I, you know, I read random issues and things like that here and there growing up. Oh yeah, the Spider-Man accidentally got bound uh, um, by by the bindery. That was an accident, apparently. So yeah, you can ignore that one. I was actually going to go through and cut it out with a uh, with an exacto knife. I just haven't gotten to it yet. But so yeah. Anyways, I went through and started reading these, and a lot of them are really fun, kind of sort of one shots. Um, not like a one shot, like in the way that you're probably thinking, but like it's. You know, it's not a story that involves multiple issues or, you know, it's not an arc that goes over, you know, three or four issues. A lot of these in the beginning, uh, prior to Batman Year One, a lot of these were sort of, you know, if it was a multiple issue arc, it was maybe two issues, three issues. Um, but prior to that, you know, other than that, a lot of them were kind of like one and done issues. And it was actually pretty neat because going through and reading all those again, it has a lot of the, like the, especially in the, like, you know, mid to late eighties, a lot of it had that kind of corny Batman 66 sort of still feel to it. Um, like, Hey chum, uh, you know, and Jason Todd, obviously he was still around at the time as Robin and Jason Todd being like, uh, you know, Holy guacamole or, you know, whatever it was. And it just really had that Batman 66 feel to the writing, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, and then when Frank Miller took over and, and kind of redefined him with Batman Year One and everything kind of started over, um, yeah, it definitely took a, took a bit of a different feel there. But, um, yeah, a lot of people may not like the yellowing of these pages. You know, they might say, oh, the, the, the pages are too yellow for me, etc. I personally love it. I think it's great. It really shows the age of the books, which makes me even happier and, and something that I love. Um, then you get here and you get some classic, classic Norm Brayfogel art, which, and flipping through all these and, and really kind of going through all these again, I realize that Norm Brayfogel probably does my favorite Batman. Um, that man's Batman was probably the best. So, yeah. Kind of go through these a little bit faster for you guys because I do have nine volumes to show you. I don't want to waste anyone's time here, so we're going to kind of flip through these sort of quick. But like I said, I'll have all the table of contents and everything uh, laid out over here, which you guys are probably have been viewing. I just haven't gotten to making them yet in the video. Um, so that way you guys can all see the mapping and how everything looks. And then this is the one you can tell has the flat spine rather than a curved spine. This is the one that was actually done by a different bindery in Pennsylvania, and they were called uh, Wirt Book Binding in Pennsylvania. They actually did this one. Um, and this one also has that, where is it? The Batman Colt, I believe is which one it was. Oh, no, this one has the Batman Riddler run. This one has some of that cardboardy feel to it uh, just because of the the covers. Um, but there was another one, I think it was Batman Colt where like the whole book just sort of felt like cardboard. So it's kind of a, an interesting bind because it's not quite as, uh, you know, even, I guess you'd say the pages aren't quite as even or anything. So, but yeah, lots of fun stories to be read and had. So I'm, I'm very, very excited. All right, then this one here is uh, Batman 87, 88, 89. So it kind of collects a little bit of everything over those three. Oh, here's the one that has the Colt with all the 
the Bernie Wrights and no, well, that one well, it has the cardboard covers, but it's not quite what I was referring to. Where the whole thing just sort of felt like cardboard, but classic Joker stuff in here. I absolutely love it. Like just going through the art. I I miss art like this. I truly, truly do. All right, then we have Batman eighty seven eighty eight. It's also fun to go back and read all the letters and things like that and see if like there's anybody from your hometown. Does anybody else do that or is that just me? Maybe it's because I'm from like a, a smaller city. I'm not from like New York or LA or Chicago or anything like that. I always kind of look. I'm like, oh, is that person? I actually have found a couple people from my hometown and I was like, oh, that's neat. I don't know if anybody else does that or if that's just me, but let me know in the comments. And then last but not least, we have the end of 86, beginning of 87. And this is the one I'm currently reading right now. Like I said, I haven't gotten too far just because I don't have as much time. I am on this really kind of fun Joker arc, though. And Joker's goons in this story are so cheesy, but it's so much fun. Um, so, yeah, if you guys ever get a chance to be able to read these old stories like this, whether in floppy format or custom binds or what have you, I strongly encourage you to do so. I think it's absolutely amazing, and it's it's really, really incredible. Um, so yeah, there it is. Like I said, hope you guys enjoy this. I'll be posting up another one next week of like a Green Lantern custom bind haul that I got. And uh, we'll go from there. So until next time, the power is yours.